it's so dirty. Yat hey everyone, my name is Dara Blackwater. Welcome to my channel. Shae Dara Blackwater Yana Shea Besh Bacha Inishle Do Tsenajani Bashish Chin Ado Besh Bacha Idashi Che Ado Tach Ini Dashinale. My name is Dara Blackwater. For those of you who don't know me, I am from the Navajo Nation. I'm Diné. And I just wanted a longer form um, of expression as far as showing you guys the great outdoors that I've been able to experience lately. Um, getting to backpack and hike in a lot of really cool indigenous homelands. And I really just want to show the beauty of it, tell a little bit of the history about it, talk about the indigenous peoples who called that place home for thousands and thousands of years before colonizers ever showed up on this continent. And really just, um, yeah, show just what I get to do all the time that I love so much that I think you love hearing about. So this week, my friend Christian and I were able to explore the Washita National Forest. It's in Southeast Oklahoma, and it's the homelands of the Caddo, Kickapoo, Osage, and um, Choctaw nations. And those are some, a few of those, it's their ancestral homelands, which means they've lived there for thousands and thousands of years. And a few of those tribes were removed from Southeast America to Oklahoma, um, where they were, some of them were given reservations and some tribes have no land base whatsoever. So this land is beautiful. I think you're really going to enjoy seeing it in all its glory. Give these moments the space they need for growing. Gotta let go of things we're holding so we can heal a world that's broken. Live your dreams, just let them be. Spread your wings so your spirit's free. Close your eyes and feel the breeze. Let go of the pain, put your trust in me. I know many lies been told, written in the book so the people won't know where to look and where to go. The story's told inside your soul. So we're just listing some of the uh, things that we've seen that indigenous peoples probably ate, I'm guessing, out here. We've seen deer. Um, we saw people fishing. Um, one of the fishermen said that there are rainbow trout and brown trout. Ooh, I, think, um, I think he said rainbow trout and brown trout. Um, we saw remnants of walnuts, so we think that there is a walnut tree out here somewhere, or walnut trees. Um, there are berries that we don't know whether or not they're edible. Christian just ate some, so we'll see if they're poisonous <laughs> shortly. <laughs> just kidding. Um, was that it? Uh. Squirrel. Oh, we saw squirrel. Um, snake almost ate me. <laughs> Christian almost got eaten by a snake. And the water is super clean. The water is so clean. It's really fantastic. I forgot my Sawyer squeeze. I wish I still. I wish I had it with me so we could drink it. There's no cattle, but we don't want to risk it. And oh, and we saw a hawk, which we you wouldn't eat necessarily, but it was really really beautiful. So yeah, we're just envious of all the wonderful things and creatures that there are out here. It's amazing. It is so beautiful. We had two coffees this morning, so we are ready for this hike. You were given in these times, so the children see your shine. 
and we can wake the ones that's blind. While the sun rays start to soak in Let your heart begin to open So you can feel the words I've spoken Feeling me like this could be A dream became reality Stars aligned so you could see A light full of light when you're next to me We belong to an eternal time Sent from the stars so we could shine When it's dark, then take from mine Hold you close when you're by my side Vision made of love, this unification. You can see where we come from, and now the story just begun. So we just finished our hike. We definitely either went the wrong way, or we. Do you think you don't think we went the wrong way? No. Nope. I didn't know there would be a road run involved. <laughs> We ended up running like the last mile on a road. My secret. <laughs> that was Christian's surprise for me. Um, but overall, it was really fun. It was so beautiful. Um, Hocha Town, Hocha Town, Hocha Town is beautiful. We're gonna go get some dinner, go back and get the baby, and just chill for the rest of the night. That was a hot tub. That was ten miles. So we are definitely ready for a hot tub and some food. Bye. Give these moments the space they need for growing.